What's up, folks? Welcome back to another fantastic episode of Three Pound Fishing. We're on the fall bite. We're gonna figure it out today. We're gonna do a little bit of everything, brush pile fishing, scoping individual fish, and we're gonna put it on active captain. So stick with me. Folks, a lot of exciting stuff coming your way. Have you checked out the three pound fishing tackle? Good night. Oh man, I love fall days. It just doesn't get any better than this. Let's go catch some fish. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies. Hey folks, thanks for joining me. Please subscribe. We're going to have a great episode here. We're going to try to figure out this fall bite and just have a great time. This is not getting any better than the fall bite for crappie fishing. Oh, baby. All right, that's a good start to an episode right there. I am uh, throwing just about everything at him and it doesn't seem to matter what you throw at him. So let's start off this episode with some active captain. I want to show you guys the different types of fishing that you can do during fall. And they're everywhere. They separated, they're hungry, they're moving around. And um, it, 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 it really is a fun time to fish. And I'm a big hunter, so you know, I struggle with the idea that you're gonna be on the lake and you're not gonna be hunting those white tails. But I'll tell you, this is the time to catch good fish. It's a struggle. Every year it's a struggle for me. But uh, more times than not, I've been choosing crappie fishing. Fall fishing's fantastic. So this is gonna be a brush pile right here. And some stragglers around there. It looks like I floated off the pile a little bit. All right, so here comes our pile in the view. Look how stacked they are, and they're on top of the pile. Um, in the fall time, you're going to have fish starting to separate themselves and they'll be on top of those piles more times than not. They don't, they necessarily won't be tucked in. And all I do is I love casting to them starting off and you can see it coming in right about there. It's coming in and we're right over the top of it. We're going to see if we have any action. Here comes one. Sometimes I speed it up to see if I can keep them going. saw that on active captain there we go that's fall fishing folks they are everywhere and right now they are stacked on all these piles we are going to even go to another pile now i think every lake's different but on my lake it seems like the fish will definitely separate themselves from the brush piles and they might even just be 30 40 feet away from the brush pile they're in the area they are schooled up they're moving around and sometimes they'll be a single like I'm dropping on this guy right here. But I, as I move from pile to pile, I'm always searching for those loner uh, fish, those loner schools of fish, which we get a lot on my home lake. And uh, it's just funny how you can have a brush pile 40 feet away and there's not a fish on it. But about in that 40 feet, you'll find the school of fish that probably goes back and forth to that actual pile. Now look how scattered those fish are right there. And then you have, you actually have some on the pile. A lot of those guys that are down there low are pretty good fish usually. Oh, we got one. Well, this guy is a little bit small. We're gonna find a different pile. All right, here we go, folks. Now, I tie my braid directly to my jig head. People, some people find that quite amazing uh, because I guess the rule of thumb is you don't. You know, everybody has a leader, but I haven't found a difference in bite doing this. In fact, we got second on Kentucky Lake and I caught a ton of fish and it was braid right to the jig head. Now what I will do different is when I put it through the eyelet with braid, I will loop it around and I will do it again. The reason why I do that is because I favor these micro braids so they're really small and they can find any imperfection in an eyelet. So now I've got two loops on that eyelet. 
I'll bring it here and then I just do my standard loop knot. No, no secrets there. Put it right back through the hole I just held with my finger, like that. And that is the perfect loop knot with a double tie on the eyelet. I'll supplement that with a split shot, which I'm open, you know, I'd like to find a bobber stopper that can fit the micro braid, like a really tight bob bobber stopper, because I do think there's value in using some of these um, barrel weights or whatever. I like those, but um, in the meantime, I use typically a number five, and I use my teeth, which is bad for you. Right there. that's it that's my setup pick a plastic it really doesn't matter in the in the time in fall time so that's it the reason why we use that loop knot is because we want that to hang horizontal we want it to look natural so that's the reason why you use the loop knot now does it matter I don't know but it makes me feel so what's going on in uh, three pounds world um, big change is gonna happen in 2022 we're gonna have a new boat, new boat sponsor. This boat will be up for sale, so you can check it out. Here we go. There's our fish. Good fish, good fish. Egypt is, all right, so there's, Good solid eater. And we're casting to him again. Look at this pile of fish right here to the left of us. Good night. Sometimes I just look at these piles and I just decide which ones have the bigger fish. That's all it is. Look at these guys right here. These guys are like 14 foot off the boat. Just a ton of them. Dropping in there. Just keep catching fish. Just gotta keep catching fish. Look at those fish, they are alive. You tell me that's not a fall picture right there, folks. Check it out, those fish are moving around. They're just like, hey man, we, we wanna eat. We're ready for some food. It's winter time, it's about to be winter time and we need to eat. See those fish in the, at, the, at the, about the 20 foot mark? Those ones we're targeting with this day just look a little bit better. So we'll go back down the 20. There he is. You can see him jumping on the floor there. I don't have the wrap anymore. And so we are in a transition period. So we're waiting for the boat to be made. In that process, this boat will be for sale probably in December, January. I do not have a price on it yet. But uh, be looking for it. I've had a lot of people ask. It will come with all the electronics, everything, every bell and whistle. When you grab this boat, you will have a crappie killing machine. Is it is that good? So Ozark Rods, nothing's gonna change there. We've got a couple of new sponsors. That Killer Doc, you have to check out killerdoc.com. It is the best fish cleaning stations ever. You'll see an episode if you haven't already of us putting it together but they are top of the line and they're mostly in, you know, bigger fish, bigger market, you know, the ocean type market. And they're looking at expanding into the panfish world. And it's just an incredible opportunity to help them do that. And, and you check out killerdoc.com. It is unbelievable. If you have a dock on a lake, you're going to want this. It's beautiful. If you haven't, if I, have, if I had the video out there, I'll link it right here. But if I haven't, um, that video is coming up where we put it all together and I, sh I share everything about it. It's exciting. Some other exciting sponsors I can't divulge yet, but uh, they're coming. And of course, three pound fishing tackle is gonna be expanding. We've got jig heads, plastics are coming, and uh, we've got the hair jigs, and we've got other things. So, under our sleeves. So stay in touch with three pound fishing tackle because it's going up. Let's put some fish in the boat. Now this is gonna be a smaller structure. Um, 
I like fishing it because I think that it uh, attracts bigger fish. Smaller structures tend to attract bigger fish. At least that's my opinion. First cast, I don't know, it feels like a decent fish. Good size eater. Probably 11, 11 and a half fish. I am. Come on now, that's cast number one. That's a heavy fish though. They're feeding, man, they're feeding. They're gonna bolt up for winter time. It's crazy how great this fishing gets. We should call the fall the shooting fish in a barrel season. That's what it is. All day long. All day long. Guide trips are going great. Still got some spaces in uh, fall. Still got some openings. People always ask. So, interested in three pound fishing guide service? Give me a holler. We go through electronics. We do it all. We do it all. And they are active today. Oh, I wanted to mention something. Um, I, we are going to be making another trip to Texas this winter time. So if there are lakes that you have an interest in three pound fishing coming to, if you're a guide, we'd love to partner up with you for a trip. But um, Basically, our plan right now is to go back to Lake of the Pines, Lake Fork, and potentially Lake Palestine. Those are definitely on the radar. We're actually thinking about perhaps even some lakes in Oklahoma. But if you have some suggestions, if you have a hookup that you'd like to share, we would love to take advantage of that. And maybe we will uh, go in a little different direction. We've, uh, we had a lot of fun last year. Glenn down there at Lake of the Pines, he was fantastic get, uh, host and um, that lake was awesome. So we're gonna pick out a good, a good week of weather and make some massive trip down there. So my setup, braid, split shot, and, then, and that's usually a number seven or number five. Then a, basically a bright, uh, bright any color jig head, doesn't really matter, and uh, something with a little movement on it. Although I don't know if it matters in the fall. Fall is just such an easy time to fish. These fish are feeding like we talked about. And uh, I mean, I'm getting bit every time. It does not matter. Put the live oil up quickly, quickly. gonna end it folks my elbow is killing me right there folks don't get much better than that fall fishing elbows killing me what we're we gonna do about that catching all these fall fish good night what a day what a season doesn't get you better you guys are interested in guide trips if you made it this far in the video guide trips are going to go awesome filling up the live wells limits it's unbelievable 
Give me a holler, 618-694-5162 or 3poundfishing at gmail.com. Take it easy, guys. Thanks for watching 3 Pound Fishing. Partnered up with these fantastic companies.